they're clearing up a bit of oil off the grid there. And uh, I can just keep talking through the grid for you while they're doing that. We've got Eklund and Gollop on the second row, Jean-Luc Payet and Martin Everson on the rear row. The engines are starting to rev, and I hand you over to Arthur. And it looks as though Skank has got the jump as they go away, has he? We are riding on board with Will Gollop as we go away. And there it is, Martin Skank coming up the inside. He goes very, very wide, and his hands has got through into second place and he's really having to fight to retain that second place but uh, Per Eklund is indeed in second but what a start from Skanker and how he could hold that car through that first corner Peter. Well it was extraordinary he got right out onto his own personal bit of loose which was not on the circuit at all and he just hung on and hung on exciting stuff from Mr Rallycross as always Kenneth Hansen now being chased by Jean-Luc Payet trying to get past Per Eklund but Eklund seems to love this circuit he's done so well here today. He has done well here today and this is looking for a good result for Per Eklund, which is more than be said for Kenneth Hansen, but Kenneth has got to give it everything. Kenneth has got to win this one to keep his championship hopes alive. Anything other than victory here today for Kenneth Hansen, and the man you're looking at at the moment will become the 1995 European champion in this category, I have to say. We're riding on board now. You know who that is, don't you, for the length of the steering column. That, of course, is Per Eklund. This is Kenneth Hansen trailing him around the circuit at the moment. Kenneth coming up to challenge the Impreza now, really trying to get that ZX in there with a chance. The two Swedes having a tremendous battle. They're not that far away from Martin Skanker. See Jean-Luc playing a rear guard action there. He'll make certain sure that nobody gets by him to challenge Kenneth Hansen because we know that Jean-Luc is here today to try and help Kenneth win the championship for Citroën, for Citroën to take their third consecutive European championship title, which Jean-Luc took two years ago with the VX, which Kenneth took last year with the ZX, and Kenneth is still down there in third place, though. Kenneth Martin Everson comes through. Martin Everson through there. Will Gollop down in last position, unfortunately, at the moment. Will Gollop really has dropped well back now. The battle really is for second place. And Kenneth Hansen's not really having the best of days. Kenneth still sitting there in that third spot behind the Impreza of Per Eklund. Well, he must know. It must be awful feeling uh, inside him as he's driving here. He uh, wants to get past Eklund, of course, but he must realise now that unless something goes horribly wrong for Skanker up in front, uh, even if he gets past Eklund, there's no way he's going to be able to challenge Skanker. No. But as I say that, he's making a move. He is. He's having a go. He's just got to hope that he can get by here and that something untoward might happen to Martin's car, but at the moment, there's no sign of that. He's having a look up the inside there, but no, I don't think he did it. I don't think so. They're on their last lap, and Kenneth is still... Still in third place, Sean Luke is still keeping Martin Everson at bay down there in the fourth place. Martin Skanker still leads it though, and this looks like Martin, who's won more European Rally Cross events than anybody other else competing in the series. As we see, Kenneth Hansen come round, it is on fire! Kenneth's car catches fire just as he was about to get round the outside of uh, Per Eklund, and Kenneth gets out of the car, he's abandoned the car, oh what a sorry sight! Well, it's extraordinary. This is round 11, and the excitement still keeps coming by the bucket load, and they're going to need a bucket load. There's the flag. Skanker wins it. He's the new champ. Extraordinary stuff, Arthur. Yeah, and there's still there's nobody near that car. Where are the fire marshals? Where are the fire marshals? Kenneth is... Oh, he looks out in despair. Not only has he lost the championship, he's probably lost his motor car. Just look at that. Oh, what a sorry, sorry sight. Yeah, sure. Yeah. So... Kenneth Hansen says he's okay, but look at the car. Uh, some sort of yeah, serious fuel flames, problem. And yes, space, there's yeah, Susan Bergvall. Uh, yeah, he's okay. 